Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to edit your Minecraft videos in Sony Vegas. So, um, I got a few requests to do this. I talked about doing it in one of my Minecraft episodes, and I figured why not just go ahead and jump right into it. So, I have episode 15 of my Adventures in Minecraft series right here, and I'm pretty much going to edit it for you guys on camera so you can see exactly how I do it. So anyway, first things first, go ahead and open up your uh, Sony Vegas. I personally use um, version 9. That's just because the first version that I ever uh, got. And I haven't really bothered to update. So, first things first, the project name. I'm simply going to name it. Andrew's Adventures in Minecraft. Episode... This is episode 15. Probably need to make this colon. Episode 15, um, storage shed. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Since it's about my house, my house. And all this stuff, it's pretty much okay. I just go ahead and hit finish. So we open up to a page that looks somewhat like this. Depending on what version you look, you uh, you use, it may be a little bit different. So anyway, we have all the clips right here that I'm going to be using. First things first, though, is I need my intro. My intro, I have it in my video intros. It's the edited intro. I haven't bothered to change the name because it's the first one that pops up. And go ahead and drag it in, and it'll be good. I personally put it on the music layer for the uh, intro, and then the uh, the voice on the voice layer. So anyway, first clip. Go ahead and drag it in, and let it build the peaks so we can see what we're looking at. Right here, you see my vocals don't come in for a while. Um, I was doing that because I ha was having a little bit of frame rate issues, so I didn't want to start it out. Um, first things first, go up on the top left of the uh, of it, and you can click and drag, and you can add in a fade in. So pretty much what this will look like is something like this. Hey guys, and uh, yeah, that'll give you the fade in. And I'm personally going to move the uh, the actual image up one layer, which I'll get that. I'll get to why I'm doing that at the end. Um, so that's all I do for the first clip. Drag the second clip in. Go ahead and line them up perfect. Make sure there's no uh, separation in them. Interesting to um, see. But it was, it was a, yeah, flow's fine. Make sure there's just no glitching in between each one. Um, I only add in a transition, like a fade in between the uh, two whenever I go from clip to clip because if you look at this videos uh, what that is is whenever I have fraps which is this program this is what I use to record um, right here we have it so the movie gets split every four gigabytes and what this means is every single f every four gigabytes of raw data recorded which is this it splits it. so like if you look at this four pretty much four four for 900, that means we split somewhere. And these things, the AVIS FKs, they're pretty much just memories saying that they're being held in this document. So you don't have to worry about that. Dragging clip four. Don't have to do very much editing for this video. And commercially. See, so there's nothing to do there. Clip five. Anything? Maybe actually would have had probably what happened was I was in, got a little bit of an issue. I'm personally just gonna let them slide. What happened was I was sounds fine. I mainly do that just to make sure there's no kind of issue with them. Probably have a little pond, so that's good. Next clip. I'm sorry I'm going a little bit fast. I'm just kind of trying to go ahead and get through loading up all these clips, but right here. You can see we transitioned there into a uh, a different clip that I recorded. So pretty much what you can do is just take this clip, click and drag it, and drag it on top of the other one. And you get this little weird looking thing that what this does is you can see it right here. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're here in one. I know it's kind of hard to see because uh, of how Sony Vegas' live playback does, but you get the idea. It just adds a little bit of a fade in between each clip, which is pretty important, in my opinion. It looks kind of weird if you just suddenly skip to the next one. 
they kind of look like decoration. That one's fine. This one, I'm pretty sure this is when we went back. Yeah. See, I can pretty much tell because if you look at it, you have, vo you have like, vocal, vocal, vocal stop, and you see how it kind of stops there for a second. That's typically how I can tell. And um, the amount of uh, of fade that I do, it automatically like kind of clicks to one second, as you can see that. It kind of jumps to one second, and I leave it at that. Because okay. I think one second for a transition is pretty good. I'm um, dragging the tenth clip, and I think we're good. How to edit your videos. Video. <laughs> pretty good time. Okay, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a distraction. And uh, could not seem to get fraps working again. I don't know what it was. But anyway. Um, back to editing it. I think the last clip's actually in here, isn't it? Come and on. I'll see you guys next time. Give it a nice fade out. I'm actually going to shrink it a little bit. Figured out, I'm actually making pretty good timing on this video. It's not going to be very long, which I'm pretty happy about. Ooh, running a little bit slow. Anyway, we have this outro right here. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this in. This is why I made this extra little video layer. Or why I left it blank. So I can do this. If you look at it, the outro, the way it works <clears throat> is I have the song starts out very quiet. I'm going to have it on its own layer as well. It starts out quiet and then the song picks up. And I kind of like it so it picks up. Give that a little fade too. As the video is exiting. So it will kind of look like this. See you guys next time. And I don't like it being too loud, so you uh, are excited for more videos. And if you see this, where we made this little annoying noise, I have a simple way to fix that. Simply press S, and you can split the clip. And what I like to do, hang on, let me get rid of these fades. I do not want them. Um, simply take this, right click it, properties, mute. And what that'll do is that'll mute the uh, layer. So now if you listen, go and mute the song. Are right, excited for more video? It's not near as much of a like loud click, and I'm not going to do it because I'll have to edit it out because it's annoying. And then if you listen, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to uh, start making them again. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. And that's about good. You guys next time. And then obviously at the end you get the fade out. And yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much uh, how I edit them. It's pretty simple, actually. I don't, I don't a hundred percent understand why so many people have issues with it. It might be because they just are not sure exactly how to. But it is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It mainly, for me, I didn't really watch any tutorials on figuring anything out. I kind of just looked at everything, you know, going through here and kind of studying everything, um, and kind of figuring out how it works. So now here comes one of the big things, and this is where I spent many hours trying to figure th this out. <clears throat> so what I like to do is highlight everything. I don't know if I have to do this or not, but I just do it anyway. So now we're going to get ready to render it. So first thing I do is save it, go ahead and make sure that it's good to go, because the last thing you need is for you to be rendering it, and it taking several hours, and halfway through it crashing, and it deleting and getting corrupted or something. So, go ahead and hit render as. And as soon as it loads, I'm seeming to. I don't know what it is. Getting some issues with my computer ever since I had to stop and start again. Come on. Give me okay, so that was pretty crazy. It, had, it took me about five minutes to actually get it to completely shut down. But anyway, select the entire thing. And simply go up to project, make sure it's saved, as I said, render as, and it'll pull up this menu. Personally, I like to save everything to the desktop. Everything that I render, I just simply put it to the desktop, and I organize it later. That way, I have it, I know exactly where it is, and it's easier to organize, in my opinion. 
So right here you have the save as file type. And I personally always do the Windows Media Video, WMV for short. And I have my template, which is which I've named 720p videos. And if we go ahead and take a look at exactly what it is, it's video rendering quality on best. The audio, I have it set kind of just to the typical things, and then 128 kilobytes a second. I had that about 96 before, and I felt that uh, during time lapses, you lose a little bit of quality in the audio, so 128 is better, in my opinion. In the video, this is where it gets very important. Um, quality VBR, Windows Media uh, Video 9, because that's what we're using. Um, high definition, 1440 by 1080, that's if you want 1080p. And 1280 by 720 is what you choose if you want 720p. And personally, I only want 720p because of my slow internet. So I choose that. That's pretty straight up. Pixel aspect ratio, you do want the square. If you do the HD, which is considered 1080, that's when you get like the kind of music video movie effect where it only takes up half the screen. You know, it goes like from up here down to here and the rest is black. It doesn't look very good with Minecraft stuff, so you choose the square. The seconds per keyframe, very important right there. If you're on 720, you have to be at 5 seconds per keyframe. Otherwise, it's going to really look weird. I'm pretty sure on 1080p it's about 3, but I could be wrong. Quality, I typically keep it at about 86. Um, something I'm thinking I'm going to do is bump that up to 89 or 90. That'll work too. Go ahead and save over. So we just refresh the template to 90% quality. If you put this at max, so like 100%, the files will turn out ridiculous sizes. I mean a 5 minute video could be a few gigs. So if you're going to do anything, if you want really good quality, I would say put it at about 97, but no higher than that, because otherwise you'll get way too weird stuff. Um, this stuff, I honestly don't mess with. Index summary, same thing. So pretty much, that's about it. Pretty straightforward. Keep that about 90. Okay. And actually, no. Wow, I'm starting to get a lot of these. 720. So pretty much if you look at this, I have the 720p super high quality, but that is 97. So I do that for shorter videos. So like for this video that I'm doing, I'll probably do that so you can see a little bit better. So 720. And that's pretty much it. Name, everything else is good. And then you simply would hit save. And I'll, you'd probably want to wait, I don't know, however long it'll take. Um, render loop region only keep that on stretch video to fill output size keep that off say your project markers you can do that on or off not too important um but yeah that's pretty much it I don't really know what else to do I'm not going to render it just yet because it may freak out fraps and we might have a uh, an issue we might run out of memory so that's about it from the desktop you know we organize it I have this folder where I put all the uploaded videos into typically I delete these pretty constantly because yeah it takes up a lot of space on my computer and if you look my hard drive I do not have very much room and that's probably, probably draining pretty quickly <laughs> but uh, yeah you get the idea anyway if you guys enjoyed um, tell me leave a comment um, if you have any more questions I'll be happy to a answer them in comments or I'll message you about it if you have an issue with it but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and start rendering this, and I will see you guys next time.